What's up boys and girls, welcome to the BFF's YouTube channel. Make sure you guys tap the bell, subscribe, like yes. the video, and comment down below. First BFF to arrive. Really? Hold up, the first BFF on time, every time. Josh, we saw a Josh in the a lobby and he goes, yo, I'm just getting the razor, I gotta go shave my face. What do you mean? What do you mean by that? What time's it? 8.31, one minute late. Damn. He was so close. I was so close. I can't wait for the late, but BP is the latest. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's tough to get here. I'm what, I, a minute late? I left at 740. All right, BFFs, we're live. We're back at Raising Cane's in Miami. Um, and What's we're going? working a shift. We're working a shift. Mm. Are we saying we're working a shift? Since by the time this comes out, the shift will be have working. It'll be we're in the podcast. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Well, today Sweet. we're working a shift, five p.m. You guys have done that, right? Yeah. Yeah. We I never it. have. We did it in Austin, Texas. It was really fun. Yeah, it was. Good but time. we're not doing the drive-through because there's no drive-through at this location. So I guess we're going to be like at the register. Yeah. Working the computers. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, that seems like higher stakes. I know. Stressful. All right. This restaurant, I've been in a bunch because I used to live like five seconds away. So it, it is super cool. This Have you guys been in this one? No, first time. Yeah, yeah. it's very cool. Um, Giant yep. disco balls. Yep. Even though we're beachside right now, we're getting the holiday spirit. Kansas launched their limited edition holiday merch. I don't know if we got any. Um, I'll definitely be hitting up RaisingCanesGear.com to grab some merch for my friends, family, of course, Raising Cane's holiday gift card to top it off. Who doesn't want the gift of Raising Cane's delicious chicken fingers, cane sauce, Texas toast under the tree? It's like 4 a.m. when we're <laughs> like recording this, but we got hot, hot canes, which we usually don't get when we do the show, Bree, because they deliver it here. Piping and hot. Josh. So good. Right off. Yeah, it's so good. Satisfy Cane's fix. There's no other option. Okay, let's get into um, the subjects. Starting for like the millionth week straight, Travis Kelsey traveled to see Taylor Swift in Argentina, and then all hell broke loose. This mm. was crazy. I was walking to our Nashville bar when this happened. I just landed, walking to the bar, almost turned around, <gasps> had to go home to do Did your jaw drop to, to address what was going on, <laughs> mm. which was. Taylor changed the lyrics of Karma for Travis Kelsey. You have Travis's reaction. You have Taylor like running off stage and basically like leaping, jumping into his arms. Into his arms. Uh, like the side. It was beautiful to see. Oh, that's pretty serious. Ugh. I They're think that is serious. The two kids in love. Mm. There's a lot of rumors like fake. Is it real? I feel like the more they do shit like this, I think it's fake. Whoa. Fake. I was going to go real. If yeah. Really? yeah. But like they're yeah. doing it for the cameras, no? You can't fake that. She's not Pacino. Mm. That was genuine. Yeah. Mm. That was a take out not, of left not, field. Not like fake, but why are they doing it? It feels performative. Performative. Doesn't it? I don't know. Changing the lyrics, jumping into his arms right when he's like but waiting she, off stage so that everyone before. sees it. No, she no? hasn't. She's never, never changed never. the lyrics. No. Never mentioned anybody. Damn. So then maybe okay, she's okay. just really in love, but I don't know. It feels a little... She was also looking at him supposedly during Lover, That's My Man, and Willow looking at Travis or just saying, because you know I love the players in blank space. And then she strategically played Endgame as a surprise song. So people were oh, nuts. Oh, okay. So she, they were getting married. Yeah. I mean, that's what Kelly Keegs is saying. I mean, it was a big deal. My phone was blown up. You got to just go with it now. You just got to. You, you have to I love it. I guess you didn't. You said it was performative. Well, that's just like she's never done anything like that. Then changing the lyrics, running into his arms right off stage when he could have just been waiting behind stage. I, can I throw out a hypothetical? Yeah. I guess to Josh. Yeah. Yeah, I'll take it. If one. somebody on the panel is dating like an A-list singer. Right, 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 right. And they changed the lyric like at a show that the girlfriend or boyfriend was at. Mm. Hypothetically. W yeah. Would would you think they'd be a goal that's performative or they think it's cool? I think that'd be pretty cool. Yeah. I think, I think that'd too. be pretty cool. <laughs> I think it'd be cool. Just personally. Does Zach ever jump into your arms like that after a show? Or like look directly at you? I know he has in one of them, right? Because I saw something. Like he's never sung at you during a song? No. Well, you guys don't Maybe have we're the, not end game. You don't have the love like that. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Um, yeah, so this next one, Patrick Mahomes' family skims campaign. I hated it. So... 
Kim Kardashian, owner of Skims. Patrick, Brittany Mahomes is now like one of, she's in Taylor's crew. And then you were standing up for a big time. The other yeah, day. because you're flip flopping. Yeah, you are flip flopping. Flip flopping. Remember flip flopping mm -hmm. on on her. Oh well, I, she, yeah. I I tried to give her the benefit of the doubt, and then she went and did this. Now a lot of people are like Dave. Clearly, and Josh, you've done like fashion campaigns. They're like, clearly, this was shot long before, like Pat they Britain. became friends. Correct. Yeah, which is fine. I agree with that. But you gotta like either pull out or you don't leave comments underneath how great it is. People don't understand Kim Kardashian. What she did was vile. Like I'm not, you can be a mean person and do things and have like cat fights. She went way beyond. She illegally recorded a conversation and released it and edited it on Snapchat to make Taylor look like a fool. And I have inside intel that the Swift, I, I'm in the inner circle of the Swift. Right. I'm in. Yeah, right. You kind of worked your way in there. Th right. That they never will forgive Kim Kardashian. <laughs> Ever. She's like... Has Taylor ever spoken about it? Yeah, she did. Like, has she ever publicly forgiven Kim or anything? No. The, the quote she did when the actual phone call is here. So, again, I think there was two, uh, four years passed in between... I feel like I've told this story a hundred times in this show. Maybe. But it is that song, Bitch, I Made You Famous, Sleep... And there's some lyric like, Sleep With... Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I feel like me and Taylor might still have sex. Correct. Oh, I so, feel like me and Taylor yes. might still have sex. What? I made that, that bitch, bitch famous. famous. Yeah, that's yeah. it. So the the there was controversy when it came out. Taylor was like, I never gave permission for it. Connelly's like, yes, you did. I called you and you gave me permission. He said, she said, Kim Kardashian released clippets of a phone call they had on nah. Snapchat. Yeah. And it was all out of order. And it made it seem like Kanye and Kim were telling the truth. And everyone started like going after Taylor. She went to hiding for like four years because she's ever, all Kanye's fans came at her. Four years later, the actual phone call comes out and it's exactly Taylor's version. She's like, and here's what she said when I Taylor's came out. Taylor's version. Mm -hmm. Instead of answering those who are asking how I feel about video fo footage that was leaked, proving that I was telling the truth the whole time about that call, you know the one that was illegally recorded that somebody edited and manipulated in order to frame me and put my family and fans through hell for four years, the singer wrote, swipe up and see what really matters. The swipe up was like That's a baller. charity thing. It, in real time. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, okay. She was pissed, and they're still pissed. And, yeah. and how? No, there's no coming back from that. Yeah. Of like yeah. Being a dickhead. So, yeah. yeah. You can't not be on Taylor's side for that. And then one of your best friends does the Taylor skims, and yeah. Jackson Mahomes is underneath being like, best campaign ever. So, yeah, no, no. We don't, we don't forgive. We don't forget. I wonder if Taylor will be seen with her again. Because isn't Taylor like very. Yeah. Once you do something, she's like, fuck I think you. So, but how is she going to avoid her? True. No way, Jackson. She'll just was run in that off with campaign, Travis. Though. No, he commented. Oh, okay, 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 he's okay. He's just in the mix, too. Yeah, fair enough. I almost fell asleep there for a minute. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, so I did an emergency uh, press conference on. on in the airplane, plane. right? Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I saw you like leaned you up go, in the corner. Yeah, the yeah. yeah. Next to me was like, this person's crazy. Brittany Mahomes. Who I've She's just staring at me. What <laughs> <laughs> of things you're <laughs> creep talking about all these ladies. <laughs> yeah, that is a great, great video. <laughs> Taylor Swift sends Kelly Car uh, Clarkson flowers every TV release after Kelly Clarkson tweeted at Taylor Swift in 2019, suggesting she should re-record all of her songs she doesn't own. Kelly Clarkson recently revealed that Taylor Swift sends her flowers after every Taylor's version album is released. That's awesome. I didn't know that. Yeah. She's just a sweetheart. So it was Kelly Clarkson's idea. Yeah. Huh. I love Kelly Clarkson. That's wicked. Yeah, that's awesome. See, that shows what type of person she is. Uh, husband charges wife for talking about Taylor Swift. I assume this is what you guys want somebody to do to me. Yeah, we should have that on the podcast. A little <laughs> like $10 Oh, we'd be maybe rolling in it. Yeah, yeah, we'd be drowning in money. People, well, I don't put the sheets together. I'm, I'm just saying you would have. But the sheets are strategically put together in things that you would want to talk about. For sure, no. Because yes. if it's not what you want to talk about, you shit on Austin. So Austin's got to make sure it's that it's a little bit to curated speed. to your taste. Uh, it's, it's just you what the people say. want. It's just what the people Austin's want. Talking, like Austin was in Nashville with us. Austin's head is. Nashville was another me. whole thing for Austin now? <laughs> yeah. No way. Really? Uh, even we He's went, got fans? Yeah. We, I, I was, it's probably in the sheet somewhere. I was like the surprise guest for Alex Cooper's show in 
uh, Philadelphia. And then we went to our bar after, and girls, Austin on the phone. Oh, it was. It was <laughs> getting the phone treatment <laughs> yeah, now. Yeah. Like little messages yeah. up on stage. No yeah. way. You're making it big time, dude. Yeah, I, didn't, was... I didn't ask for any of this. <laughs> yeah, but you, He'll but take you're it. Quick to chime in. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe uh, you did ask a little bit. People's 2023 bit. sexiest man alive. Patrick Dempsey is named sexiest man uh, people alive for the first time. A 50, 70 year old, which many people have found shocking, considers Grey's Anatomy character's nickname was McDreamy. Wait, they find it shocking? As like he just won it now. Oh, He's oh, okay. 57. The man's been sexy, right? He looks good at 57, though. He does yeah, look good at 57. He almost doesn't look that different. Right? That's encouraging. It is. Men age very gracefully. Thank you, Bree. Encouraging no for Me. you specifically? Yeah. You've gotten better with age. Thank you, Bree. I, I will say, yeah. Thank you. It's the money. You're Patrick Dempsey. Patrick on my shoulder. It's like doesn't work. Because uh, you're in love. That damn shoulder. Money. Dude. Money. Money helps. It helps. Yeah. Mm. Uh, and living here, tan. If you can't tone it, tan it. Mm. Um, finalist for this year's what? <laughs> Sexiest <laughs> man, Jason Kelsey. Yeah, he was like he's. I'm with it. He was really, he was really there. Can you but believe that he's the Kelsey brothers have done what they've done? One's going for sexiest man alive this year. One's dating Taylor Swift. One's gonna marry Taylor Swift. One, no, they were both in the Super Bowl last year. Jason Kelsey, I like. Good guy. He's one of those like bear guys. He's like he's not. He's a type of sex. He's yeah, a type of sex. He's a type of sexiest sexy. man alive. Give me a break. That's yeah, but ha haven't people won before where we were like, ah? Eh. I don't think like mm. an offensive lineman looking guy. I mean, yeah. he's not bad looking, but if he wasn't. If he's just walking down the street and he's just Jason Kelsey, you don't know he plays football. You wouldn't be like, oh, what a great looking I guy. I think The Rock won. Pedro Pascal, I think, should have won. Yeah, Pedro's also kind of a not typical sexiest man alive, sexiest man alive. I, have a friend. I do like him a lot, but he's not typical sexiest man alive. I have a alive. friend who is, like, you could put them both in the room. And oh, I thought you were going to say dating. You No, you wouldn't know who was who. Really? He, like, looks exactly oh, like wow. him. He's like, too. He's like, is he cool? Yeah, he's like, uh, he's made all the paintings in my house. Oh, sick. He, are you maybe he is Pedro Pascal. Yeah, maybe. Have you ever asked what his name is? Yeah, there, he, he looks exactly like him. Oh, my gosh. He does. Told uh, you. He just needs a, a different hair. Well, the, the <laughs> monitor is far away, out, too. He will look like him. No, he will look <laughs> like him. <laughs> 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 so the one you're already critiquing his look? No, yeah. I just meant if crazy. he had different hair, they would be similar. He got run over by a bus on BFS. Dang. Uh, and back, back he looks over great. On. I didn't mean it like that. People Magazine also names the sexiest man by age from 20 to 70, which include Landon Barker. No. Isaac <laughs> Presley. Is that the number two guy there? Yeah. Yeah, he's a good looking guy. Watch Landon Barker's better than him. I think Landon Barker's better looking than Isaac. Landon Presley Barker, too. by the time he's 30, is going to be like. Sorry. Well, they're different ages. Oh. oh okay. Wait a minute. You you guys think Landon Barker's better looking than Isaac Presley? Yeah. I mean, maybe. Landon Barker's like, dude, got a beautiful face. Yeah. I think, I think he is. Okay. Too. Wrong. It's not wrong. <laughs> You're two, looking at two, it. One. Yeah, it's two, two v one. one. All in, somehow we will release a poll. Wait, can we these two pictures? Can you pull I'm up so Isaac Isaac win? Presley like what without glasses? Yeah, it is weird to use a glass, but I'm just judging on these two pictures. To hide eyes in a photo Landon. of sexiest man alive is crazy. I mean, handsome crazy. man, but Landon's the eyes are like Isaac a huge That's piece. Isaac of Presley. It. And where is Landon? I know Landon's gonna win this. Yeah, easy. Landon's Money. gonna win this. He's a handsome dude. He's got a he's got a pretty doesn't face. Doesn't do it for me. Mm. Doesn't do it for you. Eh? Doesn't do it for Not him. Not ugly, just doesn't do it. for What me. is his face supposed to do for you? Oh, who do you well? Who do you think the sexiest like, man alive is? Guy. Who's your sexiest man alive right now? Josh Richards. Yeah. Besides Josh Richards. Yeah, it's okay. We like excluding the show. I don't know. I don't see him in the sheet. I don't want to throw. Yeah, it's tough when you exclude the people from the show. Yeah. Um, or just like, who do you think's like, what's your vision of a hot man? The guy that you said of the Matt Reif episode. Who's that? Henrik Lundqvist. Lundqvist. Pull up Henrik. <laughs> who the heck? Henrik Lundqvist. Okay. <laughs> Sounds okay. Like, like, Henrik's yeah. spectacular yeah. looking. Yeah, great looking guy. I don't guy. even know. Make sure you get one with his eyes. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. Great looking guy. <laughs> yeah. He's a good looking <laughs> dude. He's a good looking yeah. dude. Yeah. yeah. Bradley Cooper though. Bradley Cooper, yeah. but he kind of he kind of oh, has a little bit of like a yeah a Bradley Cooper. I guess look. they look the same. Yeah. Bradley Dave. Um, <laughs> Harry Styles, obviously. Ke yeah, Keenan Thompson. No, um, Jason Oppenheim. All right, 
Jason Hoffenheim is four one. <laughs> Jason Hoffenheim is four one. There is no chance. There's got to be requirements no for a height. There's no chance. There's no way. I love one man. <laughs> I, I, I met this guy. And he's really <laughs> nice, though. He's really nice. He's a nice guy to me. He is. He could five be five three. He's a legit five. I know. Three. He's a legit. short man. He's a short man. He's <laughs> tiny. He's a little person. Oh, he's so cute. Come on. He's so cute. He had to buy that. He could be cutest man alive. <laughs> you, you, uh, That's but, almost yeah. insulting. I would hate <laughs> yeah. to win cutest <laughs> man alive. He's his man to put oh. in your pocket. <laughs> and no disrespect to him, but, I mean, if you're going to put him on the sexiest man alive, you have to be taller than 5'3". True. I think probably. you have to be probably six five feet. 5'10". <laughs> six feet, probably, yeah. 5'10 <laughs> and a half. Uh, Leo still holding it down at 49. I'm fine with that. He'll probably be there till he's dead. Yeah. Just, yeah. Right, because... Of a pure once status alone. Yeah, and once you're in the age categories, you just keep going. It's yeah. Like you're not competing. Again. I guess you are. The 39-year-olds turn 40. Yeah. Um, was this person snubbed? Josh? No, so we have a bunch of people that were kind of controversial than other people that are that same age and whether or not okay. you think that so the winner. So snubbed or not, fine. These are people that, oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, yeah, everyone well, on that list was snubbed. Wait, this is real? Yeah. Obviously, Zach Bryan should have won. Louis Capaldi. That was, ugly. A, that was <laughs> a pretty looking pretty pretty looking guy too. Look at that sexy guy on the right. Yeah, that's a good profile they got of your guy. My guy looks great. Let's be honest. He's a singer, right? Great singer? Is great yeah. singer, yeah. 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 But he's not a he he's not a good looking guy. I shouldn't say ugly. Rude, mean. I'm not good. Well, you didn't say ugly. You just said not good looking. I think he said ugly. said ugly. ugly. No, he started with ugly. Oh, did he? Yeah, he started with ugly. <laughs> oh, I missed that. I was like, oh, well. not ugly, but obviously Timothy Chalamet, Zach Bryan, Noah Centineo. Let me rephrase. He's ugly compared to this group. Yeah. Yeah, it's a tough group to be put up against. So how do he win? Who knows? Based on heart. I think sexy is more than just looks. Fucking true. You know what I'm saying? But it never has been in this is thing, it? right? <laughs> That would be like beauty. That would be like yeah. inner beauty. He would win the vote. Sexy is like this America is about the bikini contest. It's not right. about like the talent portion. Well, this isn't like this isn't like Mr. Olympia here. Yeah, true. That's yeah. crazy though. All right. Should have been Zach whatever. Bryan. Now I'll vote for Zach. Sexy is thirty five year old. Glenn Obviously ASAP I mean, Rocky. Yeah, ASAP for ASAP sure. ASAP Rocky. Glenn Powell. Glenn Powell's a good looking guy too. Glenn Powell's great looking. Not I as hot as ASAP Rocky. I don't, uh, Rocky he's do a pretty me. motherfucker. Glenn Powell. Glenn Powell I, does it for you. Yeah, I mean, I yeah. think Joseph Lee's a good-looking guy too. Yeah, this they're all, this, this they're all worthy. Like blow out his last one. No, yeah. no, 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 no. Um, no. Glenn Powell is a perfect-looking man. Joseph Who? Lee's pretty good-looking though. Why do I not know Joseph Lee is? Got to be an actor. He is too. Okay, he's, an he's an a good-looking guy. What what is he in? He's an actor. Okay. Wow. I'm sure he deserved it. Oh, Hemsworth. Duh. Yeah, it's not I even think, close. I uh, think I love this one. Adam Driver wins for me. <laughs> Woo, that's tough. I love him. Andrew Garfield? Chris, Chris, Chris Hemsworth, Hemsworth, if you re-ask the question, like, what is your classically, like... Yeah. Chris Hemsworth is probably one of the best-looking yes. human beings and on the Henry planet. And Henry Cavill, he's Superman, yeah? Yep. Yeah. But still, look at just look at Chris Hemsworth's face. face. Yeah. That's I just... Mean, that's ridiculous. Yes. I, I would say. And Hemsworth. Henry Cavill. Yeah. I, I think Hemsworth, if we're doing like a super category, like if you've seen the dog show where like you win it's your the category. Ultimate you winner. Yeah. Into, yeah. Hemsworth is in that. And he's like wins. wins every bracket. Yeah. yeah. Great looking guy. Oh, Henrik. Oh, Henrik made it. He just got no, snubbed. This is yeah. ours. Yes. Wait. So oh. we picked the winner for the. No. So the left is who actually won. The left here is other won. people. Oh. This is other people that could have won. Oh. Other people in that age group. Well, I'd give it to Henrik. Seb the, the, Sebastian, Sebastian Stan. Stan too. Yeah, he's really good looking. And Dwayne Wade is good looking. John Mulaney, not so much to me, but not ugly. But uh, no, I won't give it to Colin Jost. He's married to um, Scarlett, Scarlett Johansson. Johansson. Scarlett Johansson. She oh. wins Ooh. the categories of it all. Yeah. yeah. Lucky man. Ashton Kutcher, obviously, obviously, obviously. Yeah, he's a good looking guy. Yes, agreed. Ashton Kutcher. He's, that's my classic Correct. I, no, I'm just kidding. I, Zach I have, Bryan is. <laughs> I have no party with Ash, with no part problem with Ashton Kutcher being in like the finals of the dog show. Yes. Mm -hmm. Y'all, me. I'm DP, yeah. Me. Oh, oh, Tom Hardy. Photo. I saw you comment on that photo. Such a good and you were like, that's I need your photographer's <laughs> digits. Like, I need to look like this in every photo. You look good in there, dude. Great you photo. Orlando Bloom was my first crush, Pirates of the Caribbean. You could mm. stack two Jason Oppenheimers and they still won't be as tall as me. And I'm not that tall. <laughs> 
<laughs> so he can't win. Tom Hardy's good looking. The best. Too. Very yeah. good looking guy. Yeah. Uh, Christian Bale, come on. Yeah, I'm fine with Christian yeah. Bale. I'm fine Nelly, with Nelly, obviously. Christian Bale kind of looks a little bit like Henrik Lundqvist Steve as well. Nash, we put Steve Nash in. Who's Steve Nash? Yeah, De- Dev just chose four attractive people. That's kind of a weird one, I think. To- Steve Nash has Nelly no still blows Leonardo out of the water. Oh, I mean, when you look Easy, at him side yeah. by side right here, Nelly is a better looking guy. Yes. Yeah. He's aged better. That photo, maybe. <sighs> 55. Daniel Craig. Hugh Jackman. Hugh no, Jackman. Dan- Daniel Craig for is, sure. for me, like, uh, can get to the dog show. Really? Yeah. Maybe. Guys are so, so weird. Is it, is it, is it like the James blue Bond. eyes and James Bond? Yeah. 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 yeah, I get what you're saying. He's got to be 4 1 too. Yeah. He, I don't think he's overly tall. But Daniel no, Craig? Nobody is Oppenheimer short. <laughs> uh, Brad Pitt's obviously, right? Keanu's good. Rob Lowe. Lenny Kravitz another. is like one of the more beautiful humans alive. I yeah. actually go Lenny Kravitz. I also think Rob Lowe's another. That standard yep. sexiest man alive. I'd put him in that dog show as well. Yeah, my, I would. my dog show tends to be like the bad guys in like rom coms. Like mm. the overly like classically way yeah. too good looking. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you're, you like get mad. You want to punch they're like douchebags because yeah. yeah, yeah, they're yeah, too yeah, hot. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's it. Okay. All right. Good game. Yeah. I uh, always feel mean after doing that. I was very mean. I tried to pull it back on the singer. I know. That was mean. Yeah. You did call him ugly twice. I think he's beautiful. He's ugly compared to the people he's with. He's beautiful on the inside. He's funny. He would be great with you. He's also, yeah, he's, he's, a, he's funny a pretty guy. funny guy. By the way, I wouldn't. Then, I think that's what makes him sexy is his funniness. Yeah. So if someone put me on that sheet and they're like, the three versions of us in a bizarre world, like Dave's ugly, I wouldn't take offense. Yeah. I'd probably say something sarcastic. Just getting nominated has got to be. Oh, yeah. Got to be a little it's bit beautiful. of just to be ego in the conversation. Boost. Yeah. Uh, Lady Gaga's former classmate speaks on what school was like with Gaga. Lady Gaga's former classmate, Carly, classmate, I can't even talk, Carly Waddle, got her fame on The Bachelor that recently spoke on Jason Tartek's podcast about going to NYU studying musical theater with Gaga. Carly said she was not a fan of Gaga and of that course. Gaga would drive her crazy singing songs from Wicked at the top of her lungs while Carly was trying to eat lunch. Deal with it. That's, yeah. what I, that's exactly what Lady I Gaga. That's why she's do. Gaga. Like, totally. The goat. And she said that she was, wasn't was noticeably more talented than her peers, but she was just a genius when it came to her own music. Okay, so she is noticeably more talented. Exactly. Yeah. Ga- Carly also said Gaga was so ridiculous because she used to wear really tight leopards that her boobs would come out. Leotards. <laughs> leotards. <laughs> and her boobs would come out and that Gaga wasn't noticeably more talented. Oh, that's what you said. Genius. Yeah. Whatever. This sounds like a hater. Hater. One, one, Gaga became an international the second, pop the second star. I saw and the you went on The Bachelor. Bachelor. Yeah, she went on The Bachelor and then she went on a podcast and then she spoke about how she didn't like yeah. it. I knew Don't talk about Lady Gaga story. like that. Yeah. Uh, 2024 Grammy nominations announced eight of the nine most nominated artists of the 2024 Grammys are women with SZA leaving the pack. Let's go. Uh, the most nom- nominated artists of nine nominations. The Barbie movie soundtrack also scored 11 nominations. Anti-Hero's nomination for song of the year, which she's going to win, makes Taylor the first songwriter earn seven nominations in the category dethroning Paul McCartney and Lionel Richie. Wow. We each have six. Overall, Taylor got six nominations. Um, we're just going through Zach Bryan nominated for three. Let's go. Let's go. So it looks like you're going to the Grammys. That's huge. Huh? Yeah. When is That's it? pretty dope. Um, February. Um, Zach Bryan bids on his own signed album. Zach Bryan bid four grand at charity auction, his own album, signed album. What? We Zach went, we went to research. Benefit cancer and then gave away the album to a fan. We went to um, guy, his dad Luke. like holds uh he walks 70 miles every year and raises money for cancer. And then he does an auction. So we went and we just auctioned everything and bought everything and then gave it to people. Oh, that you everything you bought? Like mostly. Oh, That's yeah. cool. Yeah. I once did that out of spite. Why? <laughs> <clears throat> All right. That's a <laughs> W-E-E-I auction. W-E-E-I silent auction. It's a radio station in Boston. I hated them. <laughs> we had a big controversy. I used to be on the air. They kicked me off. This Barcelona was kind of starting to blow up. Then we really started to blow up. They did a silent auction. It wasn't an EI. It was someone else's. It was we both. It was Milton's uh, clothing store. We both had them as a client. So they invited us to the auction. It was all EI people. And out of spite, just to show I was doing well, 
I just won every auction. <laughs> I just bid on every just out of spite. Like, fuck you guys. I'm doing great. <laughs> That's baller. That's awesome. Um, I love how we turned Zach Bryan's good guy story about no, he did it good stuff. Guy. I did it out of spite. <laughs> Dave bringing it back to him and just buying everything out of spite. That's awesome. Uh, Pharrell designs a one million dollar bag with Louis Vuitton. What? Who? Louis Vuitton menwear creative director Pharrell has created a one of a kind speedy bag that is valued at one million dollars. The bag is handmade with crocodile leather, yellow gold, Cuban link hardware, diamond pendants, only available to VIP clients. A million dollars. You know how many other retail? things you could buy for, for that's that? The retail. That's ridiculous. Yeah, that's retail. Crazy. Silly. Man. I guess we got that type of money that you can do that. Who cares? Right. Harry Styles shaved his head. Oh, doesn't look good. Doesn't look bad. He looks better with hair. Of course. Some guys don't. Can we see the video? Taylor Russell is beautiful. That's his girlfriend. Rumored. Well, looks like it. Looks like it. It's kind of like. That's how I put my hand around girls. Like you don't really know how to do it. Like <laughs> 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 look a little bit awkward. It does. It's like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't know how to do it. <laughs> Yeah, I expected more out of him than that. Like, that's almost like don't put it on her shoulder or like. It's a little. Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah, what are we yeah, doing? Yeah, yeah, Do yeah. I like you? I'm nervous. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's what are we doing here? Um, Adam 22 and Lena the Plug create their own reality this show. Crazy. I've seen this. For the love of Lena. Uh, after interviewing women on their podcast before having threesomes with them, Adam 22 and Lena the Plug arrange a challenge to find the first man to join them in a threesome in their new show, Love of Lena. So it's just a porn show. Pretty yeah. much, yeah. So they're trying to find the first guy to join him? <laughs> yeah, so it's kind of like The Bachelor, but it's just the but guy that wins like has sex with them. Oh. Okay. I mean, nothing they do really surprises me. No. Yeah. No, 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 no. R.I.P. Paint Grandpa. Paint Grandpa went viral for eating half a pot of paint that many <laughs> mistook for mint yogurt. <laughs> passed away at 91. Oh. I he didn't, didn't know pass away paint, because uh, of you know the paint, was? though, right? You didn't know who he was? No. You don't remember him? No. He was like the biggest meme forever. He didn't pass away because the paint, though. No. Did he? Well, you know, it could have like, you don't know the effects that it has on him. <laughs> could have been 91. I don't mean to laugh. 91's a long time That's now. That's crazy. We just have a crazy That's a beautiful life. Omegle shuts down after 14 years. Omegle, Omegle an online chat service that allows strangers to talk over video chat and direct message has shut down. Growing up in a small town, the website created using the internet to connect with people globally, leading to the creation of Omegle. However, after all the years, Omegle is misused by predators with forced shut down due to an ongoing lawsuit. Yeah. Imagine then us being like, did you, you use Omegle? I've never heard of it. Oh, Omegle. I, yeah, it was huge. As a kid? Oh, you huge. Yes, yeah. and you're, you'd be like a 10-year-old t- a kid on it, and then people you would just show their you dicks. You just randomly have like a black screen. If you ever had a black screen, you had to skip as quickly as possible because that meant they were about to turn on their camera and just wave their dick around in your face. Wait, what did it mean? That they, they were going to start screen, jacking off. They were going to like turn the camera on and just be wiggling their dick around. Yikes. Yeah. So like chat roulette. A yeah. little bit yeah. of that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like yeah, that. yeah. yeah. People really did go on it for the dicks. They can say they didn't, but they did. Yeah. It was like, oh my gosh. Oh, a dick. I didn't expect that. Yeah. How are kids going to have? It? Yeah. Fun. <laughs> yeah. I know. Huh. I, I, I use chat roulette. Not that. Um, 2024 Met Gala theme announced. Met Gala was announced as Sleeping Beauty as Sleeping Beauties, reawakening fashion, which will feature 50 pieces from the Met Gala's collection that are too fragile to ever be worn again, so a lie like Sleeping Beauties that they can't be hung up right. Some people think this theme is a dig at Kim Kardashian for wearing Marilyn Monroe's dress to the Met Gala in 2021. This is because she ruined it. Um, this is also coming after Anna Wintour was allegedly mad at Kim De- Ka- Kardashian for delaying Victoria's Beckham show by 15 minutes October. I have no idea if this is a coincidence or not. You can, neither of you guys have well been to this, right? Have no. You been, no, I didn't know. No, I've been. You think I've you'll be invited this year? Gala. I haven't been to the Met Gala. You think you'll be invited this year? I have no idea. I did CFTAs. I, I feel like they're which is big. So you sat next to Kim Car- or you sat at Kim no. Kardashian's table. I, I didn't sit oh. with Kim. I didn't sit with Kim at that. I was with like Nina Dubrov. And how was it? It was cool. It was cool. Went. That's the day. The show. Sick. Yeah. 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 Well. Oh yeah. You, how are that? you feeling? I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> That's good. It was definitely from salmon that I ordered off Uber Eats that that day. I think. Or the chocolate you ate the night before. No, that wouldn't be it. No, oh. that wouldn't be it. Haley Kavanagh transferred <laughs> to TCU. I saw this. I have no. I mean, I knew she was doing it. Um, LeBron. Oh, 
LeBron's opening a LeBron James museum. <laughs> you most cannot LeBron... open a museum yeah, about yeah, yourself. Yeah, you LeBron, can. LeBron can. He will. I love this. And then he'll. Like... I actually feel like you would open a DP museum. You so would. I yeah, would he's not. so yes, would. You would. I would not open a DP. <laughs> yes, you. It would, would be a bit, and he would open a DP. He would museum. so open up a museum. No, I, I would not <laughs> open a museum for myself. <laughs> a bar still museum, but it would really just be a Dave museum. That <laughs> yeah. I do, yeah. but not. Like, I don't want to call it the Dave Porter museum. Um. <laughs> Knee, Try it. Knee the three. For, neon. neon. <laughs> I think neon. Yeah. Neon disrespected Charlie DeMeo. Neon, who was an IRL streamer, streamed at an event that Charlie was at where he said he wanted to fuck her, <gasps> wanted to slap her ass, and even approached her to ask her if she was single in front of Landon Barker. Charlie later went on Jay Shetty's podcast. She alluded to the situation, saying as upset as she was, she didn't want to respond online because she knew that's exactly what they wanted from her. That's true. That is exactly well, let's what they see would have wanted. Neon guy. That's disturbing. That's what this live streaming like stuff's all about. Just getting clips, yep. having to get reposted. I want to fuck Charlie, dude. Josh, I'm a creep. I'm a creep. Hi, nice to meet you. My name is Kyle. Hey, are you single? I know. Creep. Loser. Yeah. Ew. What a weirdo. I want to. Ugh. Gross. And he looks like he gets stuffed in a locker. Yeah, that was just like, and he's clearly like you said, Josh, doing a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, they, that's what the like I like the streaming where they just kind of like have people, the camera. It's on like all that. Day long. Like you're a dick. Is it like that? Dar. There's, de- there's like there's like kind of two sides to it. You know, like I feel like a lot of the people that watch them, some of them aren't even like fans, and then some of them are. Some are just watching because it's craziness yeah. ensuing. You know what I mean? And that, it's like the Jack Doherty kid we talked about yeah. two right. weeks ago. It's like they go out and they do something fucking nuts. And then they're gonna get that reposted all over TikTok, yeah. and then that, like, then that's they go not viral. How you yeah. act in a civilized society? He, no, like, that's how you get your was, teeth yeah, knocked he out. Clearly, yeah. was like she's with her boyfriend, like very clearly. And you go up and be. Did he go up to Landon and say, "I, I want to"? No, 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 no. He was talking on the side, like obviously oh. yards away. He's not gonna say that around. Well, he went up to a Landon guy and Charlie. said it. It, oh, it was like probably Landon. Landon. It was one of his Landon? boys, probably. He was like, "I'm gonna slap her ass." Goes and does. Hi, nice to meet you. Travis Barker plays drums in Delivery Room. Travis Barker has been criticized after he posts a video of himself playing the drums to his baby's heartbeat in the delivery room. I, why, who cares? That's his thing. That's his baby. Let yeah, him drum up. Who, that doesn't seem like it's something that should be there. I guess Pinky, Dog, Pinky Doll is coming out with a new song. Ooh. We can see the teaser. Is oh, she it's still... called Yes Popcorn? Yes Popcorn, yes. Yes Popcorn, yes Popcorn, yes Popcorn. looks like what I'd expect out of Pinky Doll. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, that's, I mean, that, that's, that's Pinky Doll. Yeah, that's her Is thing. it going to just say yes, popcorn? Oh, a Miami bus tour. You ever done one of those? No. <laughs> mm, you? I'm not a big tourist guy. Mm. I like to adventure myself. Me too. I don't too. know where it would go in Miami. There's like yeah, that's what I'm thinking. a bus, what there's to nestle I look, look at. The beach? That big statue of that woman right there. Oh, oh, she's she naked. Boobies out. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Um, Stephen A. Smith says the worst day to be horny is Sunday because you're gearing up for work Monday, and the best day to be horny is Friday and Saturday. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> Why can't you be horny when you have work the next day, though? Because you got to go to sleep. You can't have sex and then go to sleep? No, I guess you could. But he wants to go all night long. I guess if you have sex, though, that you're no longer horny because you're done. That's true. Yeah. You would have been relieved. Um, and then you'd be ready for work. For work, yeah. 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 A little lighter. Yeah. Billy Eilish says men don't face criticism about their bodies. I don't agree with that. I agree with that. I don't agree with that. Who faces criticism about their body as hard as a woman? Um. Oh, well, no. I would say like Rob Kardashian. What an answer from me. Like when he got sent home. <laughs> that was unbelievably <laughs> good. He usually got hammered. He'd wear those huge shirts. Mm-hmm. He, he got sent That's home true. from... Kim's wedding because it's too I mean, fat to fit into the jumpsuit. I just, I just don't think it's as Jonah Hill gets prevalent. body shamed a lot yeah. too. I, well, I will say I agree with you, Bree. Like if you see a beautiful woman and her, and her body changes, people comment more often. But if a guy is known as being like sexiest guy and then you see him looking awful, he gets people do on. say it. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Um, BFFs Skinny cooler. guys, they get Reading ripped. With Josh passed out before BFFs. Now you're saying. Uh, you ascended the CFDAs. You were saying it was bad salmon. Yeah, I didn't eat it at the CFDAs. 
The salmon. No, I know. Oh, okay. But you went to the <laughs> that night. Yeah, I went to the CFTAs the night yeah. before the podcast. Correct. But I was back home at like 11.30, probably 12. Okay. Yeah. You looked good. Thank you. No Thank problem. You. Yeah. It was a sweet suit. Dolce. Uh, yeah, Shout cool out Dolce. Suit. They let me keep it too, which nice. is hard. You should have wore it today. Well, that would have been weird. Why? It's really hot in Miami. It's like 82 degrees out. I'm Show probably up. not going to wear a suit in a tie. What about him, Austin? <laughs> we gave you a compliment. Why were we trying to figure out how to dress? Oh, we were saying that the a lot of guys can do the fancy dress or like the dress down, but being like in the middle day and day dressing well. And Dave was like, Josh, yeah, what was our problem? People. What were we trying to do? You couldn't figure out what to wear to Alice Cooper's live show. Yes. Oh, <laughs> yeah. And you were complimenting me? Yeah. Well, what did you end up? Is this what you ordered the live show? Well, oh, I put a picture up. I'm like, does this match? I got crucified. People what like, was ah, it? it was like, <laughs> it was a cardigan. <laughs> I didn't want to wear something a little different. And not one person was like, it looked good. Everyone's <laughs> like, well, if you change this, if you match that, if hmm. you do that. So it's like, you know what? I'm just going to put on black. Like, the black looks good, though. Can't go wrong. Yeah, do you have a picture of what you tried to wear? Yeah, I, I put it out. On, do we have a picture of what you tried Instagram. to wear? I didn't I'm see like, it. I want to see uh, it. I was like, does this match? And and nobody said it looked good. No. <laughs> hey, Dave, if you ever need fashion advice, dude. You well, can you can get it. away. You're a young whippersnapper. Like, I I, I can't wear like the I suit be you wore there. It looks good. But yeah, I, I, I just go Clooney. Like, Clooney yeah. wears the same. Classic. Black shirt, mm. black pants, everywhere it goes. You think but, you would wear a turtleneck ever? No. No, yeah, see, that was a turtleneck. Yeah, like middle school dance. Like, that's when I used to wear turtlenecks. I feel but, like that was a dig almost. <laughs> no, that's when I wear them. Yeah, but middle not, school dance. Yeah, no, I know middle school wear dance now. I used to wear. No, I don't think I do turtlenecks now. They're back. But I just, I picture like Clooney having like a John Wick wears closet. A, like, he just definitely the wears same. a turtleneck. Are we pulling it up or we just go along? Yeah, I'll pull it up and just keep talking. Okay. Oh, yeah, because there's a story. Yeah, so. I got to go back to the archives. Um, got to go to the archives. Tana and Josh respond to Mac Wright playing PFM. PFM? FMK. I don't know. <laughs> what the hell? I told you my brain is short, sir. <laughs> Where, are we? Where are we on this sheet? PFM? <laughs> PMF. What's the PMF? <laughs> oh, um, yeah. Yeah. If I was there, I would have won him over, guys. We would have. We wouldn't have gotten killed. I don't know. No, nah, we honestly maybe because you guys are friends, right? Dave was kind of being pretty he was like, hard hey, on are him. You okay? And people I was like, oh, being what a nice guy. I wasn't being mean to him. A lot of people on my side. You're just being he's honest. A fraud. Because a fraud. he knows he's good looking, and he still wouldn't really admit that he knows. It would be like you, Josh. Like, yeah, and, and down deep, I like. I actually don't think I'm good looking. You know, he knows he's good looking. Right. You just, can have. You can be good looking, have insecurities, but you got to know you're good looks? looking. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. This was it. That's not that bad. It got hammered. <laughs> I can't really. The, this. I don't know if I like this whole setup. I can't really tell. I think um, it's just the jeans maybe weren't the best. I don't have jeans. What are they black are those pants? pants? No, they're just like blue. Oh, well, it's the blue, green, and then the white. Uh, actually, that's you fine. know what, Dave? That's not bad. Thank you. Um, I, if, I'm sure if they saw it in person, they would think it was okay. Yeah, I didn't have the guts to pull it if off. If you had that <laughs> with like tan pants, it would have been. You didn't have the guts? Tan? Like a, like a br yeah. Would have probably matched a little Popped. nicer. Mm. Good to know. All right, maybe tan with green. All right, I yeah. can figure that out. Um, Josh says he's best dressed at the B at BFF. Wait, at, no. No, I see a yeah, clip where I said I was the best dressed oh. out of the BFFs. I have no problem with that. I breathe. Who's the best dressed member of BFF? I saw this. Well, I mean, I think you're looking at him. I think you're looking at him. So, I mean, there's no competition with Dave. Let's be for real. Oh, you didn't have to go uh, there. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. I didn't know you were going to compliment me. Battle, but I think we all know it's me. There's only three people on the show. You're like, maybe Bree. <laughs> we know it ain't Dave. <laughs> um, it's the Caller Daddy show. I got a huge pop for this, which is great. But it was, they were this next guest screaming for everybody. Let's go. What a show. Oh, you should have done a dance or something. I, I made it very clear before <laughs> I go out because I've seen other people dance. On like, do like, the worm. I saw yeah, Hannah Burner do the worm. Yeah, it's like, I'm not dancing. Didn't want to moonwalk out? I don't like, move. Like a little oop, oop. It's like, I don't. What, I said you don't do motion. <laughs> yeah, I don't, do, I don't do motion. I'm like, if, you're try, if you expect me to do anything unusual, it's not happening. Like That's so funny. Yeah, So, but it was fun. Um, a cool show. Yep, very yep. interesting. She does it like um, a Broadway play. Almost. Yeah, it's yeah. cool. How many people are at that show? 5,000, 6,000. That's like theater. It's huge. Yeah, that's a big show. Yeah. Um, you could incorporate a little bit of like 
Like yeah. Shit, strippers come out. Oh, yeah. Like crazy. Male strippers. Yeah. The crowd goes fucking crazy. It was yeah, sick. It looks sense. awesome. That's kind of been her lane of her podcast, though. Too, so I right? thought she it's went. Like a, it's like a whole theatrics show. She went. Um, Call Her Daddy like 1.0. It was a raunchy show. Yeah. Like, yeah. That seems oh, really? more Call Her Daddy yes. 1.0 than what I want to go to one. Now. Yes. Because she definitely has changed that. Yeah. Like direction. She was in the office, but I couldn't even talk to her because we were recording. Uh, people want Josh's take on Olivia's TikTok. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, yeah. Your sister was getting in a fight. Yeah. I, I mean, tried to explain it, I thought, on the last episode. I didn't, I didn't see what you said. What did you say? I said. That obviously she, the, your sister, mm -hmm. is going to ride for Anthony because that's your brother. Yeah, and for then, sure. So she made that TikTok because Avani was shitting on Anthony. Yeah, I mean, Avani shitted on Anthony, you know, called him a scrawny ass white boy. Man being body shamed. It's okay body when a man shamed. gets body shamed, right? Body shamed. If it was flipped around, <laughs> wouldn't be all good if, if Anthony had said something. But I'm with it. She said something to Anthony, called him. And, and I think the other thing is like, Avani knows that Anthony definitely deals with a lot of like body insecurity um in like a sense of just like losing weight and all that stuff didn't post online for a while because of it so for her to take that digs a little bit like low blow low yeah. blow you know what you're doing you were dating him um so i think uh, we were dressing as scooby-doo irrelevant to the fact of what avani and anthony did like years ago that was just because duda in our house wanted to go with scooby-doo so we were all like okay we'll dress around that have a matching outfit and then olivia was like this would be kind of funny to remake this old video probably get some shit stirring and i was like and, and they were like, yeah, this was funny. So they did it. I don't think it was like a big like deal. Yeah. I, just I didn't thought, know your sister was like a creator. She's out in L.A. right now and she's like kind of taking one year off school. She goes for kinesiology. I think that's the other thing. This girl's like a college girl. She doesn't really like deal with like fandoms or like people, you know, like snapping and getting crazy. So she was like, this is a funny video. I'm gonna make it. How old she is she? It. She's uh, she's ni 19. Well, she's trying 20. to be if she took a year off to go to L.A. She's like doing it but i think she's still figuring out what she wants to do you know like she likes she moved there to work for, for you right yeah she's doing like an internship at my production company and then also getting to just like be out in la take a year off school kind of like find Got out it. who she wants to be and all that you know shout out olivia growth shout out olivia uh another live show bring grace live show nashville uh with special guest markel washington Bre briefly crowd surfed at nashville bar yeah it's kind of funny because like <laughs> you, i've heard you and O'Malley being like, we don't want to do the crazy parties, but every clip looks like. Well, it's we still have crazy. to do it after. Yeah, because we sold it. Yeah, We've also and we're not just going to stand now, there. Well, bit, that's right? the thing. Yeah. Like then we went. Yeah. Like I was at Nashville right after you, and they're like Bree's a little crazier than you are. It's like, yeah, I know. Like, yeah. I yeah. But that. we have to go, and they're like, let's go, and it's like, all right, we got to do Let's it. Let's see the video. There's no parties at the next tour. Oops. It's literally like, and then push back up. <laughs> Nashville bar is cool. That, that was, that Na was, Nashville bar is sick. Yeah, way like, lamer than my stage dive. I had a way better stage dive, but that I was had just a crazy for a video. stage dive at one of at your one shows. Of mine. Yeah, I, I lost my shoe. And my necklace chain. got stolen. Yeah, that I got it sick. back though. I lost my shirt. Actually, I might have just taken that off. I don't remember. That was a crazy one. I, I got to get on one of these special guest things. I know I missed yeah, like two. Yeah, you were supposed to, but you didn't. But I know. Busy. Finishing my comedy sketch though. Sorry. And then, like I said, we were in Nashville. Austin tagged along, and this is the life now that Austin has started to. How the this fuck guy's did this guy get bottle service now with his name on Austin it? Austin is the goat. Oh my goodness! And he loves oh, it. Oh, he Look loves it. Look at that smile. <laughs> oh, oh, boy, oh, Who you wouldn't love it? it, Austin? He loves it. Oh, throw I, you, I he just threw his this. hands up and like. Yeah. Who, oh, wait, who brought it out? Are I you got, recording? I got gas. Yeah, that was me recording it. But it, it, it. So you guys are like. Swapping roles. Swapping roles here. Yeah. I started I work recording for him now. <laughs> I started recording it thinking it would no, be a Dave no, sign. No, then no. I saw it was not. I put it down. And oh, you must have been like, what the fuck? Is no, I got gas. Gas thought it would be see funny. Smile? You Dave oh. like Did you see his smile? Yeah. Oh, I saw it. I saw that was a beautiful it. smile. You couldn't even hide it. That was like a kid coming downstairs on Christmas morning. Type yeah. Yeah. Literally. That was uh, Dave is thinking that I just got myself bottle service. No, it was probably like the girls holding on the phone. Austin, Austin. Um, that's it. That's our live Raising Cane show. We are off next week because Thanksgiving week. Oh, dang. And we have Happy later today. We'll be back here. We're doing the um, register at 5 p.m. So yep. we'll see you guys soon. All right. Peace. Yeah. I used to work at like a law school snack bar and an ice cream shop. So I have some register experience. Okay. This is a little stressful. Oh, I messed up. <laughs> I need a 20.